Okay, hi everybody. Sorry for the bad view, but this video is just a quick clip to demonstrate how OpenPilot from Kama AI works and plays with Toyota's 6MT manual transmission. Uh, this car is a 2022 Corolla hatchback, but I imagine the rest of Toyota's manuals are pretty similar. So to start it up, just hold the clutch down, press the start button, put it into neutral, and there's a few things I do when I start. Uh, the, the one thing you really have to do is turn the parking brake off here. I like to turn on brake hold, which holds you up on hills, keeps you from rolling back. And then IMT, that's the intelligent manual transmission that will rev match on up and down shifts. And then from there, right here, this will enable cruise control, just ACC. And then this here enables lane keep. So this button is a little finicky. I've found I have to press it twice, but you can kind of see the comma three there and uh, it's all on and ready to go now. So I'm running Sunny Pilot right now, which is Sunny Hyben's branch, or sorry, fork of Open Pilot. And I really like the way it works with a manual because you'll see here it engages and now all I'm doing is shifting and the car is going to handle all the steering for me. So that's the big feature that I really like of his fork which is that it separates cruise control and lane keep. So around here I can downshift and it will rev match for me and everything out of these corners so I'm not touching the steering wheel as you can see obviously ready to take over if need be but it's doing a tremendous job here so the real the, the only real big change at least that I know of from uh, a CVT with having a, a manual is just that, oh, eh, going a little too fast for that turn, but said so it, it uh, disengages below 18 miles an hour, cruise control does. So if I enable cruise here, you can see I've got it set to about 40 miles an hour, and Sunny's fork will, Sunny Pilot, will slow down for curves according to OpenStreetMap data but also according to the camera. And you can see it's gonna put the brakes on or at least let off the gas here going into this. And this is perfect once it's in gear. And also with cruise control on, I can shift here and it's gonna stay engaged. It'll keep steering, it'll keep ACC engaged um, and, and let me shift. However, the issue really with uh, and, and why I like to accelerate on my own and then engage it I'll demonstrate here I'm gonna pull off to the side and stop let somebody pass here and then I'll show you so when I'm starting out and this might be kind of hard to see on the GoPro but I'm trying to engage it right now and it doesn't work, but there you go, 18 miles an hour it engages. I'm gonna up the speed. So now when I shift into third, there it started accelerating. So shift, I'm in gear, clutch out, and now it accelerates. So there's like this weird gap and it's kind of jerky. And uh, somebody has uh, described it on the Discord as it's like you just learned how to drive stick yesterday or something, which I absolutely agree with. It's kind of awkward and jerky, so that's why I like to just accelerate on my own because it's a little easier. And what you just saw happen there, I'll demonstrate again. So what happened is when you are shifting and you have ACC engaged, up it to 45 so it's accelerating great fine dandy 
and when I do let it do the accelerating I like to just go from third right into sixth because it's less of the jerkiness um, probably not spectacular for gas mileage but as you can see I'm getting 31 so I'm pretty happy with that I know the Prius folks are gonna laugh but this is good for me um, anyway if I put the clutch in here I'm holding the clutch down and after three or four seconds you can hear it beep and it just disengaged cruise control so it gives you a little while to shift before it disengages cruise but that's a nice feature if you're say coming up on a traffic signal and you have to stop or something um, and you just put the clutch in and then forget to disengage it it'll disengage on its own um, Beyond that, uh, everything works pretty much identically to just stock open pilot, or at least uh, stock sunny pilot. The, the only real difference is just the disengaging at 18 miles an hour. So yeah, as I was saying, the stock open pilot will disengage everything because cruise control and lane keep cannot be disconnected with stock open pilot and that's really where Sunny's branch shine fork sorry shines because you can do the two things separately but the other complaint I suppose that I have is that it disengages everything when you brake which I know this is you know there for safety and I, I'm obviously not going to take it away I think I'd probably get my device banned or something like that but it is a little annoying because as you're slowing down you know that last 18 miles an hour the lane keep will disengage so if you're making a turn while you're slowing down it uh you have to be aware and be ready to take over when it quits when you put your foot on the brake so yeah other than that that's about it i have loved having it it's fantastic um if you're towing the line on whether or not to get one just do it uh, it's not cheap but when you're thinking about it i mean tesla i think right now they're charging 10 grand for their full self-driving package so really the uh, two and a half or so that you spend on this is not outrageous i don't think and very much worth it um, also manuals rock I love it I wouldn't drive anything but so yeah that's all I've got if you've got any questions leave a comment on the video or uh, shoot me a message on discord or something so all right thanks everybody bye